Hello everyone, in the last couple of weeks I was working on this electronic load uh, based on Arduino Nano. It's an uh, analog uh, electronic load. The Arduino Nano job is to display the information, to connect and disconnect the load when I press this button. Uh, it controls the cooling fan uh, and uh, it has a couple of uh, protections one of them is uh, uh, overload uh, protection and uh, overheating protection so when uh, it reaches uh, 3 amps or over, uh, over 3 amps it will uh, disconnect the load and uh, the overheating protection when it uh, reaches the 70 degrees uh, Celsius also it will uh, disconnect the load so let's turn it on Uh, right now I'm using uh, two uh, bench uh, power supplies. One uh, it's set to 12 volts and uh, it's powering uh, the electronic load. And one is connected to the load. Uh, because of course I need to test something. And uh, let's see the protection. I set it to 3 amps, the maximum 3 amps, uh, so when it, it uh, reaches uh, over 3 amps, it will disconnect the load. Let's turn the load on. Now, now the current is uh, zero. I will show you the in a moment the schematic and uh, what I have inside of this uh, electronic load. Now it's set to almost uh, two and a half uh, amps. and the load it's uh, disconnected now and if i try to connect again it will uh, display me a message and uh, it will turn off again the load so right now i can uh, connect again the load until i uh, decrease the amount of uh, current so below the 3 amps and now I can connect the load again now it's uh, 1.8 uh, uh, amps So I will uh, wait to reach uh, 75 degrees, uh, the voltage is set to 20 volts on the bench power supply and the uh, amps on the load it's uh, 2.8 amps as you can see and the load when uh, it now it uh, reached the uh, 75 degrees so <coughs> yeah the protection is working okay now let's see uh, what I have inside and the schematic. 
Okay guys, this is the inside of the electronic load. I forgot to mention the box is uh, it's uh, commercially available, but I 3D printed the front part and the back part because I needed to to have something uh, with uh, holes like this for the cooling pan. and the uh, front uh, panel as well I 3D printed to match uh, so I can mount the display uh, here is the multi pot uh, down here I have the button with the LED so uh, on the top board I had to make it uh, from two separate boards because I didn't have the space to, to put everything uh, on, the, on one single uh, PCB board uh, so on the top board I have the Arduino Nano and uh, here is the current sensor it's a uh, ACS uh, 712 the 5 uh, 5 amp uh, version it has a little bit more uh, resolution uh, than uh, the 12 uh, amp version so I use it uh, this one uh, here is uh, mini 360 uh, buck converter and here this uh, trim pot it's uh, voltage adjustment so we, you can adjust the displayed voltage when you connect the load so to match the the voltage of the whatever you want to to test batteries or a, a power supply down here on bottom board it's the uh, power uh, components the MOSFETs I have two of them uh, in parallel uh, this is the power resistor shunt resistor for the electronic load it's uh, 0 0.1 uh, ohms each 5 uh, watts and uh, on this side I have the if you can see the blue one is the relay uh, is a relay for uh, uh, to connect and disconnect the, the load here is the fuse I'm sorry uh, I can not take uh, this uh, apart because I don't want to it's quite loose uh, these uh, wires and uh, I don't want to mess up with them and uh, here on the back the fan connection this trim pot is temperature adjustment it's also for the display the temperature uh, displayed so you can uh, adjust the, the temperature and here is the fan uh, adjustment temperature adjustment for the fan for example if you want to the fan to start at 40 degrees you can adjust from this uh, trim pot here i have two thermistors one it's for the fan and one it's for the temperature display now let's see the schematic 
So this is the schematic of the electronic load. I will put uh, the files in the video description, the schematic, the PCB and of course the Arduino code. So this part here is the power stage of the electronic load. It's quite a popular uh, schematic of uh, an electronic load. Uh, here I have the Arduino Nano connections, as you can see, LED indicator, and uh, this is the connection for the uh, relay to connect and disconnect the, the load. Here are connections for the Mini 360 and ACS uh, 712 uh, current sensor. On this part are the temperature uh, voltage sensor with uh, this is the trim pot uh, that I show you on the top uh, board uh, you can you can eliminate this uh, uh, trim pot and uh, put a, a fixed value here but it's uh, a little bit more complicated uh, if the the value is not exactly the same you have to adjust it from the code and uh, so on it's uh, better to have a, a trim pot and uh, the values uh, in the code if uh, they are not uh, set correctly you can uh, compensate from uh, this uh, trim pot so the voltage uh, displayed uh, it will match the the load uh, so here is the temperature sensor it's uh, based on thermistor as well uh, here are connectors for the the input connection uh, 12 volt input connection and this is the connection for the the load I have a protection diode here with the fuse so if you connect the the load backwards uh, you put uh, here we have the positive connection and this is the negative if you put the positive connection here and negative uh, here the current will flow through this diode and then uh, back uh, through this uh, fuse and uh, the fuse with uh, blow and uh, save the, the load the electronic load uh, it's a nice feature to have not only in this uh, electronic load uh, here's the button connection and here the is the uh, fun uh, fun speed uh, sensor the thermistor and the the trim pot so you can adjust the the temperature that the fan will start from this uh, trim pot and here is the LCD display connection yeah and uh, that's it uh, with the schematic.
once again I will put everything, uh, every file in the video description. So if you want you can make it. Yeah. Thank you for uh, watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.